ask this question. M Mr. Chairman, I'm surprised at Minister Darno. First of all, Mr. Minister, you made a bag of it in the beginning by changing the judges. You made a complete bag of it at that time because I went to the Lafay Commission and you had seven barristers there questioning me and telling me I was telling lies when I told them that I got raped of a Saturday, got a merciful beating after it, and then stopped. He came along the following morning and put Holy Communion in my mouth. You don't know what happened there. You haven't the foggies, you're talking through your hat there, and you're talking to a Fina farm man, a farmer councillor, a farmer mayor. You're talking to that what tooth and nail for you for the party that you're talking about now. You didn't do it right. You got it wrong. Admit it. And apologize for doing that. Because you don't know what I feel inside me. You don't know the hurt I am. You said it was non adversarial. My God. Seven barristers throwing questions at us, non-stop. I attempted to commit suicide. There's the woman who saved me from committing suicide on my way down from Dublin after spending five days at the commission. Five days I spent at the commission. They brought a man over from Rome, 90 odd years of age, to tell me I was telling lies, that I wasn't beaten for an hour, non-stop, by two of them. By two of them. Non-stop, from head to toe, without a shred of cloth on my body. My God, Minister, and uh, could I speak to you and ask your leader, would you stop making a political football of this? You hurt us when you do that. You tear the shreds from inside our body. For God's sake, try and give us some peace. Try and give us some peace and, and, and not to continue hurting us. That woman will tell you how many times I jump out of the bed at night with the sweat pumping out of me because I see these fellas at the end of the bed with their fingers doing that to me and pulling me uh, into the room to rape me, to bugger me and bait the shite out of me. That's the way it is. I, I, and you know what? You know what? Sometimes I listen to the, to the leader of Fianna Fáil. I even listen to the apology. It was mealy mouthed, but at least was an apology. At least was an apology. The Rasminian said uh, in the report, they said they were easy on us. The first day I went to him, the first day I went to the Rasminians, in my home, which is Ferry House in Clonmel, because it's the only home I know, he said, you're in it for the money. We didn't want money. We didn't want money. We wanted the, someone to stand up and say, yes, these fellas were buggered, these people were robbed. Little girls, my daughter, or sorry, my sister, a month old when she was put into an institution. Eight of us from the one family, dragged by the, the ISPCC cruelty man, put into two cars, brought to the court in Clan Mail, left standing there w w without food or anything. And the fellow in the long black frock and the white collar came along and he put us into a van, uh, not a van, a scut truck. I, I don't know what you call it now. A scut truck. And landed us below with 200 other boys. Two nights later, I was raped. How can anyone? You're talking about constitution. These people would gladly say yes to a constitution to, to freeze the funds of the religious order. This state... This country of ours will say yes to that constitution if you have to change it. Don't say you can't change it. You're the government of this st state. You run this state. So Thank for you. God's sake, stop mealy mouthing. Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. You're turning me away from voting Fianna Fáil, which I have done from the first day that I could vote. Because, and you know me. You know me, Mr. Minister. You've met me on a number of occasions. So you know what I'm like. Remember Wexford. Thank you, Michael, for your... Uh, Tom, Tom Hayes of the Alliance Victim Support Group. Tom? Uh, um, Chairman, interesting as it is to, to listen to the panel about...